united with Christ. Meet local churches with open doors serving throughout the Border Valley community and sharing the truth and hope of God's love and salvation. A presentation of Life Christian Broadcasting Television. And now, United with Christ. This month on Thursdays, Pastor Bobby Garcia from Grace Christian Center, located at 820 North Rainer, right? Formerly known as what? The Alamo Ballroom. I'm sure you've heard it plenty of times already. It's a great joy and a great pleasure to be here uh, coming into your home or your job or your computer or whatever device you might be watching on. Uh, maybe you might be incarcerated, you might be in a hotel somewhere and you just happen to catch the program. Well, let me tell you something. Since it is Christian TV, if you're watching this morning, it's a divine appointment. Amen. That's the way it is. When, when, when we see Christian stuff, when we listen to Christian stuff, whether it's music or, or preachings or whatever it might be, you know, more than likely it's a divine appointment. Amen. Why? Because God is always speaking to us in one form or another. Amen. Isn't that great? Don't we serve a loving and powerful God? And, and you know what's really uh, amazing and really important, you know, that, that when we're listening to these life-giving principles or, or watching these life-giving principles, you know, it's, 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 it's something that, that, that's so amazing because sometimes you'll catch stuff on the television set, you know, on, uh, well, here, let's just say Channel 38, right? You're tuned in here, and, and it just happens that whatever the, whoever the speaker or speakers were or whatever program you were watching, the theme that was being discussed, you know, a lot of times it's something that that's just what the doctor ordered for you. Amen. And we want to thank uh, Sister uh, Grace Rendell and all her wonderful staff here at Channel 38. Amen. That uh, I always like to say this because it's the truth. They always give us red carpet treatment here. They always treat the pastors and ministers and Everybody who comes in here, man, they, they, they treat you like gold. And that's, that's, that's you know, uh, I was in here the other day, and, it, it, and it's really amazing because, you know, like I tell you, you know, this is such a God-anointed channel, and the presence of God is here. It, it really is. You know, uh, you come in, and, uh, and, and believe me, you, you, you just feel the peace of God, as the Bible says, it surpasses all understanding. You feel that peace throughout the whole building. I don't, I don't care where you're at. You know, if you go downstairs, if, you know, if you go to the restroom or where, wherever you go, if you're walking down the hall there to, uh, to uh, 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 Grace's office, whatever, wherever you're walking through here, there's just such a, a stillness. And, and it's not a stiffness. It's a stillness, you know, a stillness of God's peace where he's just all over this place. And, man, I, I say that with all my heart, amen. The, the, and, and, and that's one of the, one of the many reasons that I, I, I like to come here, you know, just the ambience, the ambience that is said here. And as I told you before, you know, uh, uh, a program or two ago, uh, that starts from the top, amen. That starts from the top. You know, there's a lot of people praying for KSC TV. There's a lot of people who intercede for this television station, for the people who watch this television station. So, you know, there's a lot of prayer support behind this television uh, station. Uh, so, therefore, guess what? When stuff are bathed and covered in prayer, you're going to have great results. Amen. And I believe that's why uh, KSC TV has the results that they have because it is bathed in prayer. And I know for a fact that uh, uh, Grace Rendell, uh, the, the executive uh, director here, amen, she's a, she's, a, she's a prayer warrior, amen. Matter of fact, I think her whole family is. They all love to pray, and that's good, amen. Of course, they come from Christian parents, you know, who worked in the missions field. And, and uh, of course, uh, Brother Rendell, I mean, uh, an amazing guy. Uh, uh, yeah, he preached to anybody who listened. Amen. He, if he felt that the rocks were listening, he'd, he'd preach to the rocks. He, he, he didn't care. That man is about preaching Jesus. Amen. And God bless his soul. Amen. Praise God. But anyway, uh, I was asked to make a, a, a small correction, and, uh, and, and, and that is fine. Uh, I, I kind of misled you a little bit last week. But anyway, the first six months, uh, the, uh, the, the, 
the television station didn't didn't have an executive uh, director. Amen. The first six months, and and uh, although Grace Rendell has been the only executive director of the station, amen. She, the station didn't have an executive director for the first six months of its of, of, of its inception. So anyway, uh, I wanted to correct that. Uh, I'm glad one of the viewers cared enough to call it in and say, hey, that's not exactly true what you said. And so technically, yeah, she's been the only executive director, amen. Este, uh, but uh, the first six months, uh, there was not uh, an executive director. And then uh, Grace Rendell came in to do that and has really turned this place around. Well, what do we got? Well, this morning, praise the Lord. Um, remember, uh, uh, here in a few seconds, or it's already flashing across the scene, screen, you can call that number if you have any prayer requests that you would like to leave. We would love for you to call in. There's folks there ready to answer the phone. You got a prayer request or a miracle or somehow that the station has been a blessing to you. Amen. Uh, you know, call it in. We want to hear from you. We want to hear from our viewing audience and say, hey, you know, one time I called in and I had a, you know, I had a need or uh, 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 I was sick or this or that. And you know what? My, my petition was, uh, my prayer request was prayed for and it was answered and, and God moved in a mighty way. And I just wanted to call in and say thank you and give a praise report. So anyway, call in. Call in. Uh, the, you'll see the, the, the number there on the screen. Call in and somebody will take your call, write it down, and then they'll bring it over here. They'll make sure we have it. And then we can announce it over TV. Why? Because we want you to hear, you know, the things that God does. Maybe you're watching for the first time. Maybe you're a brand new Christian. Maybe... You know, you're not too into the things of God right now. Maybe you're starting to get your feet wet. And, you know, and maybe if you need to hear some things and, and, and watch some things, you know, that'll motivate you, amen, to want to get closer to God. It'll motivate you to want to have that vertical relationship with Him, amen. And believe me, you know, when, when, when we straighten out everything uh, vertically with Him, then everything else, the horizontal part, will fall in place. I'm not going to say that everybody's going to like you and love you. Amen. I'm a first-hand witness of that. But you know what? Things change. Things change. Things change. When you allow yourself to be connected with God and, you know, just be on God's side. Amen. <laughs> There's a saying that God's on your side and he is. Well, you need to be on God's side too. Amen. So... I, I remember there was some uh, some uh, baseball hats that that, that came out. Uh, you know how they have east side, west side, north side, south side, and all this stuff. Uh, some people started putting on their baseball hats God's side, amen. And hey, you can't go wrong being on God's side, amen. Creator of the universe, King of kings, Lord of lords, the most powerful. There never will be one, or never is one, or never has been one as powerful and mighty is our God, amen, with the power to save, to transform and change people. And you know what? It's that same powerful God that's what he is available through these cameras for you. You know, what do you need? What type of change do you need? You know, maybe maybe you're searching. You know, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, before, before I came to the Lord, I didn't realize it. I, I, I came to the knowledge of this after I got saved. But I was searching. I was searching and searching and searching and searching. And, you know, I was searching in all the wrong places. You know, I was searching drugs. I was searching alcohol. I was searching, you know, the, 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 the female acquaintances there and just doing all kinds of stuff. A, a fornicator, an adulterer, a crook, a thief, you name it. You know, I was pretty much almost everywhere, almost, amen, but not everywhere. Anyway, and so therefore... When I allowed Jesus Christ to come into my heart, when I invited him to come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior, guess what? Amen. He brought my searching to an end. Amen. And I believe that uh, this, uh, this television station, through the message of the gospel that's preached here, through the messages that are brought here, you know what? Countless of lives have been changed. I, I remember one time 
uh, there was a telethon going on, amen? And uh, there was a telethon going on, and, and, uh, and I mean, the, the telethon was at its, at its, you know, it was booming, man. Things were happening, you know, uh, the guests were coming on, the interviews were going on, music, and, you know, the way the telethons get here, I love the telethons here. It's, it's, there's a lot of action, a lot of great things happen here. And, uh, and, 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 and a guy that was watching, he just happened to be watching, and, uh, and, and he was a, he was a, he was a hit man and, and he wasn't playing about being a hit man, but he was at the end of his ropes, you know, as far as, you know, the life that he was living, you know, I mean, you know, you, you know, you can't be too happy being a hit man. At least I don't think so. And, uh, and guess what? He called in and cause of the story of one of the people that were here and he gave his life to God. He gave his life to God. His searching was brought through an end to an end because of what was being projected through these television cameras. Amen. So you never know who's watching. I don't know who's watching. I know I'm sitting here in front of a camera. I know I'm sitting here preaching, uh, you know, in, 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 in all terms of normality, I could just be talking to nobody, right? But no, these cameras are going somewhere. They're, they're somewhere, somewhere. The signal's being transmitted somewhere. And like I said, to a hospital, to, a, to, a, to somebody's home, uh, to a jail cell. You know, I was reading a little bit of the, of the, of the history of, 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 of Channel 38. Uh, they even got pictures. This is how much people want to watch where there's some kids outside of an orphanage. They got a little TV they got an, 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 uh, a fork, right, a dinner fork as an antenna, and they got, the, they got the wire hooked up to a car battery, and they're all sitting down outside watching Channel 38. I, isn't that amazing? Isn't that beautiful? You know, those kids could have chose to watch anything or anything. You know, they're kids. Kids love to watch TV, you know. Uh, they're, they're mini couch potatoes, amen. <laughs> but you know what? They were watching KSE Channel TV. You know what? God was ministering to their little hearts where they were willing to sit outside uh, and watch into a little TV with a, with, a, with, a, with a fork for an antenna and a wire to the battery so it could have electricity, but they were watching KSE TV, amen. And, 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 and you know, uh, uh, from what I have here, uh, you know, uh, remember I told you that Channel 38 got started, uh, well, 30 years ago now, and and they they were there was a license to uh, from the FCC to the uh, to St. Clement down the road here, amen. The Episcopal Church of St. Clement here in El Paso, but then it was transferred, amen. It was transferred uh, to a uh, Nonprofit local corporation, which is Channel 38 Christian Television. Amen. Uh, it's governed by a local board of six trustees. Amen. To do what? Uh, with the mandate, with the mandate to serve our entire tri state region as a community. You know, there is something so special about being El Paso. I know a lot of people complain a little bit. A lot of people like, oh, we're the stepchild of Texas. Uh, you know, we qualify to be New Mexico because, you know, we're, we're like way over here. I mean, you talk about what people from Midland, Odessa say they're West El, El Paso. I mean, West Texas. Uh, you know, we tell them, you know what? You know, we're really West. We're more West than you are. We're as West as you can get <laughs> in Texas. Amen. But it's so cool because of what it says. It's it, it's really good that uh, and these points, you know, you got uh, from uh, from 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 uh, Mexico, you know, you have Ciudad Juarez here across the border. And of course, you know, uh, you have uh, uh, Puerto Napra and all, all those places, right? But, you know, it's right there. It's the corner of the state of Chihuahua, right? And then you have El Paso here, which is the corner of the state of Texas. And then you have Las Cruces and then all the small towns in between, you know, that are on the, on the would be the eastern corner of New Mexico, you know. And, and so it's, it's, it, it, it forms a little tri-state thing there. And, and, and that, is, that is really cool, you know. So therefore, 
this is what that station this this is what that station does it it serves the the, the tri-state community i've told you before i'll repeat it again we uh the the station uh, uh it, it covers a a, a hundred mile radius you know so within a hundred miles you can tune in and you can tune in even beyond you know infinity and beyond <laughs> you can you can uh you can tune in from beyond that why because uh if if you have a device that picks up the internet you know a computer an ipad or whatever you know then you can watch anywhere in the world amen anywhere there's wi-fi you can watch anywhere in the world and that's that is that is that is so cool amen so anyway uh the station is uh 24 hours a day you know uh i've heard of people that have been watching like uh you know the wee morning hours you know they got home from work from maybe a a night job and they get home and and you know they're just there and they were you know channel surfing or whatever they come across channel 38 you know what and god god you know god speaks to their lives about something you know about change about hope about wanting to go on you know, in many cases, uh, uh, suicidal cases, you know, have been ministered through through people behind these cameras, you know, coming into those people's homes and and and, and making a, 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 a change. Amen. Uh, so that's why part of the vision of this station is 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 to uh, provide inspiration, to inspire people, inspire and encourage believers to provide what good wholesome interesting educational and entertaining family viewing that supports individuals families and churches and does what and l l look at this one i love this and it contributes to the well-being and peace of the cities and towns covered by its signal isn't that amazing uh you know so therefore you know, uh, it says that, that it, it, it contributes to the well-being and peace of cities. It does. Uh, matter of fact, I, I believe it's contributed to El Paso, Texas. You know, uh, I was reading something here about a, a few days ago, and I understand that uh, one, uh, once again, we're the, we're, the, we're the safest city in America. Amen. So that's not bad, right? Not bad at all. Amen. So, and, and I know there's a lot of people who help that make happen. We thank God for our, 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 you know, our police department and, and just everybody, you know, first responders and everybody, you know, just everybody in law enforcement, you know, we, we do not cast aside that you guys contribute a, uh, contribute a large part of that. But I'm going to tell you what really contributes to that. What really contributes to that is ministries like Channel 38, people who pray, people who pray for our city people who pray for our neighborhoods, people who pray for the lost here, people who pray. We have people, uh, you know, my, 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 my prayer life is kinder, kindergarten compared to the prayer life of some of the people that I know. I mean, these people live on their knees. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, so all that contributes. That's why when I read this, that it, it, it provides, you know, that peaceful atmosphere. Uh, man, that's, that's why. That's why, that's why, because every need. And I also believe that the, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Why? Because the Lord reaches out to all nations, to all races, to all color, no matter what your, what your, what your race, color, the, you know, uh, God is colorblind, if you will. Amen. He's colorblind. He, uh, you know, he, he's not in love with one pigmentation over the other or honors one pigmentation over the other. No, God says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So I told you in the first program, I see this television station as a John 316 station, amen, that just loves the world. You want to watch, you can watch. You want to turn on the television set, you want to call in and leave your prayer request. You want to come by and ask for prayer. People are not going to look at your pigmentation. They're not going to look at your race or where you come from or where you don't come from or what you have or don't have. What they're going to see is a heart 
and a soul and a life that's in need. And you know what? They're going to minister to you. That's the way it is. And if you catch any of us pastors here around the area for some reason, you know that we're leaving or getting here from something, you know, uh, and, and, and if the station asks us to pray for you, we will. We will. You know what I'm saying? So, therefore, that's the kind of folks the station surrounds itself with is people that, you know, have the like-minded vision to want to do what? To reach out. To reach out. Amen? This is not a introverted station. This is an extroverted station. Amen? Out, 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 out. It's a very giving station in, in many ways in one. Uh, you know, we've told you this before. We'll say it again. You know, uh, united in Christ, it's a, it's, it, it's a courtesy. It's a blessing to the pastors and ministers of the city. Uh, unidos en el amor de Cristo, it's also a blessing, uh, amen, that's provided to pastors and ministers uh, of the city. You know, that's why you see different people here uh, on, a, on, a, on a monthly basis, you know, on a weekly basis, monthly basis, you know, because why? They, they have a uh, compiled list of as many pastors as possible, and they'll call. They'll call people and say, hey, do you want to be on United for Christ? So they even call you to invite you, amen, to promote your ministry or, or preach or, or whatever God lays in your heart within good reason, right? And, 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 and you can come here and use that time for that. And I believe that's one of the reasons that this station is so blessed, right? Because it reaps what it sows. It reaps what it sows, amen? And when you sow into the kingdom of God, believe me, you're going to reap, amen? So therefore, uh, this, is a, uh, this is a very... Uh, uh, it's a very great channel, amen. And and you know, uh, also uh, as you know that that you know the the viewing audience is a large viewing audience of all walks of life, backgrounds, and stuff. You know, but uh, the station has created four channels, amen, that are broadcast as channel thirty eight, one, two, three, and four, amen. And then, you know, of course, I've mentioned before, you know, you've got the television, uh, st the station that's up in Cheyenne, Wyoming, amen, and, uh, and, and that 100-mile radius that I was talking about, you know, uh, they, 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 you know, it goes out, uh, the broadcasting signal goes out from uh, uh, top of Ranger Peak, uh, you know, and so therefore... That's, I believe that's, that's, that's high enough to see, amen? <laughs> well, you can't get up any higher than that, I guess, amen? Uh, but that allows for villages uh, within the, the circular, circular range to be able to tune in and watch, amen? Also, Channel 38 is what? It's viewed uh, on all cable systems, uh, satellite carriers, U-verse, uh, it's streamed on the station's website, www.lifechristian.tv, and then uh, Roku, R-O-K-U, and mobile devices, amen? So, therefore, man, uh, it also provides that, you know, when you're listening to people here on TV, you know, the, the, the television station, if you notice, they don't promote one particular church. Uh, they're, they're not into that. You know, if I come in here and I promote my church... You have a decision to want to uh, attend my church, then you can go. If uh, uh, the brother from, you know, this church over here, he wants to come in and um, part of his programming is to promote his church, then boom, then you can go there if you want. You know, you, you choose a church, but the station itself does not promote any particular church that that's where you should go, that's where you should be, or that's not where you shouldn't be, or that's not where you shouldn't go. You know, your decision of where you go to church anyway should be between uh, you and God. Amen. God shows you where you need to be, and that's where you go. Amen. So uh, uh, what else do we got here? Uh, you, know, uh, you know, a lot of the viewers go to church, but also a lot of the viewers do not go to church, you know. A lot of the people hold different ideas and beliefs and religions, you know, and uh, they represent uh, a what a, a very uh, uh, every possible demographic. Man, they are just people from all over, all walks, of all religions, all whatever they watch. Amen. And so that is good too. So uh, also, uh, 
there's many uh, viewers in Ciudad Juarez, you know, hola to our brothers and sisters in Ciudad Juarez. God bless you guys today. Amen. Este, and just, just before we move on, I want to take the opportunity to let you know that uh, the 2nd of May, which is Thursday, the 2nd of May, uh, the first Thursday in May, uh, at 7 p.m. there at Grace Christian Center, located at 820 North Rainer, uh, we will be hosting the National Day of Prayer. It's not our event. We just loan the building so that can be done. So join us. Join us for the National Day of Prayer. Uh, it's, 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 uh, it's only, what, about two, three weeks, uh, a little over two weeks to go. And man, could you believe it? We're already in May. But it's the National Day of Prayer. That'll be on the 2nd of May, which is the first Thursday in May. Amen. At 7 p.m. If you need more information, call 544-7400, 544-7400, and we can sure provide the information that you need. Amen. Uh, so therefore, what else? As with the time that we have left, amen. Uh, KSE Christian Television Program. What does it do? It attempts to do what? Through the different programs to address what? The myriad of spiritual, family, uh, social, tone, moral, world issues that confront or concern the general population with what? That confront or concern the general population with programming that educates in areas such as what? World and American history, amen? World and national news, medical information and health science and so forth and so on. Then there's other programming that explain Bible answers through Bible studies, teachings, examples, and interviews. Amen. Some that present family counseling or women's shows that discuss pertinent issues, such children's programmings and programs for youth that are enjoyable and entertaining. Amen. And at the same time, provide guidance for dealing with issues or problems that teen might encounter. And believe me, our teens are in a lot of trouble. Amen. They need us. They need the church. Amen. And, and, and people dealing with uh, just different issues. So anyway, one of the strong desires of the station is to do what? Uh, uh, you know, is, 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 is uh, to, to, to do what? To present answers to spiritual questions or need and to bring hope and faith and peace to the people who are watching and that every child will know that God loves him, amen, and will never leave them nor forsake them. How about that, amen? And then, of course, you've got fun programming as well, and there's nothing wrong with that. Some of us need to laugh, amen? <laughs> you know, it takes more muscles to frown than it does to smile. I'm sure a lot of you already know that, amen? Uh, so anyway, it's been uh, a, a, a great honor and a great privilege to be able to speak to you today and to be here on Channel 38, help them in, uh, helping them commemorate their 30th anniversary. Could you believe that? Uh, so I was saying I was 30 years old, 31 years old when this television uh, station started. Stay tuned next for Unidos en el Amor de Cristo. This is Pastor Bobby Garcia. It's been a joy and a pleasure being here with you. See you next week. God bless.